Citizens and neighbors, uh, thank you very much for uh, <clears throat> doing this video. I want to give you a fair amount of information today because there have been a lot of new uh, events which uh, I think the citizenry must uh, be aware of. First of all, uh, I know that uh, the biggest thing on the minds of most of our citizens right now is the, uh, the COVID-19 crisis and also the uh, possible impact of the return of students uh, to town for uh, the reopening of Penn State uh, in, at the end of August. Uh, I want to first of all go over the new order from the Department of Health in Pennsylvania. You may have read about this, but it's important to know about it. All indoor dining is reduced to 25% capacity. And bars are open for sit-down meals at tables only. <clears throat> Bar service is prohibited. <clears throat> Telework is mandated if possible, and the gatherings are limited to 25 people indoors and 250 outdoors. Face coverings, of course, are required by the governor's mandate. <clears throat> they are required outdoors and are unable to consistently maintain a distance of six feet from individuals who are not of the same household. In any indoor location, they are required where members of the public are generally permitted. <clears throat> now, an ordinance is being prepared for consideration by the Board of Health of the State College Borough and by the State College Borough Council. I know a lot of you are concerned about the, the, these matters and these returning students. Uh, and that ordinance will prohibit the formation of lines or queues in the public right of way in the commercial districts. So the issue of lining, students lining up, not social distancing, not wearing masks, outside of bars and restaurants, uh, that will be prohibited by the ordinance. <clears throat> the ordinance will require face coverings in certain circumstances uh, in addition to the governor's order. Uh, for example, in lines when they exist, uh, down in the downtown zone particularly. And it further limits outdoor gathering sizes, so uh, uh, on both public and private property, <clears throat> based on zoning, depending on the zoning uh, in, in the area where you live, R1, R2, public, etc. Uh, and by the way, uh, the major apartment owners in State College are fully supportive of this and fully supportive of the limits on the sizes of gatherings uh, in the apartments. Uh, another matter I want to turn to now is the question of the impact, uh, economic impact of the COVID on the borough of State College. <clears throat> uh, it's been severe, and uh, it, we don't know how severe it's going to get, but we know that it's going to get worse. <clears throat> For example, we have we think up to the end of June that the economic impact on the borough was about one million two hundred and thirty thousand. But that, uh, that's certainly not where it's going to end because we still haven't uh, had collections of the earned income taxes. Uh, we still don't know. The same is true. We don't have collections of the local services tax. Uh, parking is still shut down, as most of you know, and therefore it would have been a total loss of parking revenue. The parking fund lost revenue up to now, at the end of June, is probably about $825,000. <coughs> Uh, and by regard to that, uh, the borough has a, a bond payment, service payment on the bond for parking structures uh, due in September, which will probably amount to about $2 million with no revenue coming in. Uh, refuse revenue has been lost by the borough and will be lost even more by the borough uh, as a result of the, of the uh, diminution, the drop in uh, payments for refuse services from large commercial buildings, from large apartments, uh, as a result of the vacancies, the lack of, uh, uh, of uh, people in town, etc., for obvious reasons. So we don't yet know what the total impact is going to be. So we need help on this. We need help from all of our citizens. The Senate is currently considering, the Senate of the U.S. is currently considering another COVID economic assistance package. Uh, in the CARES Act, uh, municipalities like State College 
got some help, but very little help actually. And the help that we got was restricted in, uh, in to, its uses were restricted in a variety of ways. <clears throat> so I want to ask you to help me and to help the borough to ensure that State College is considered <clears throat> in this new legislation if it emerges. Uh, please contact your senator and ask for direct COVID-related funding to help State College and other college towns and other small municipalities. If you're interested in helping, you can find contact information for your representatives at www.commoncause.org slash find dash your dash representative. In particular, it's important to contact Senator Toomey. Senator Casey, we believe, is already in support of this uh, kind of, uh, <clears throat> of help for, uh, for the municipalities, and we think that Senator Toomey is, might be critical uh, to this debate in the Senate. So please contact your representatives. The last thing I want to turn to is uh, uh, another matter that I'm sure you're aware of. I'm sure you're all aware of the national dialogue that is underway over policing in the United States as a result of the murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis. That debate is also taking place in State College. Borough Council is considering a number of measures <coughs> relating to police reform. It is important that Council hear from citizens of the borough over matters such as civilian oversight, the size of the police force, policing of minority populations, and, and others. Now, there are a few matters, in my opinion, that Council deals with that will so directly affect the quality of life in the borough for all of our citizens. Please take part in the debate by letting Council know your thoughts on these matters, either through email or by calling in to our virtual meetings to express your opinions. Now, as a corollary to this, in the fall, the borough will participate in a survey on police services administered by the National Research Center. Please be sure to participate. Finally, I want to reiterate, please wear a mask when you're out of your home. Please practice social distancing and wash your hands frequently. Stay safe. <laughs>